Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about PPPoE, the point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet. In earlier lectures in the section, you learned about the different WAN options that a large company, a large office would use for their WAN and their internet connectivity. Less expensive options, which are often aimed at home user internet access, are often used as internet VPN, WAN backup options in those corporate environments. They can also be used as the primary WAN connection method to the corporate network from smaller offices and for home users. So the types of connections we're talking about here are DSL, digital subscriber line, cable and wireless, for example, 4G over cellular networks. With these connection types, there will typically be no corporate level SLA because they're going over the internet using VPN. So that could be going over multiple providers. So there's no way to give end-to-end -end guarantees. So looking at an example of how this would be used, we've got a large company here. They've got an office in New York as their headquarters, and we've got a large branch in Boston. They've got a leased line to the internet from New York, and there's also a leased line directly between the New York and Boston offices. So whenever there's traffic between New York and Boston, it will go over that leased line, and it's got a good SLA there. Whenever users in New York go out to the internet, it goes over that leased line. Whenever users in Boston want to go out to the internet, it will go over the leased line to New York and then break out to the internet from there. So this is all good, but what if that leased line between New York and Boston goes down? The company are concerned about that, so they want to put in a backup option. But they're not going to put in another leased line just for their backup because that's expensive. So what they could do is put in a 4G, for example, connection from the Boston office out to the internet. Now, if that leased line between New York and Boston goes down, the users in Boston can still get out to the internet over that 4G connection, and they can also set up an internet VPN connection between the two offices as well. So if the leased line goes down, then they won't get as good quality, but at least the connection is still there. Another reason that they would want to use one of these kinds of options is they've got an office in London, which is a small branch office with just a handful of staff there. So they can't justify the cost of putting in a leased line in London. They could put in a DSL connection there. That gives the users their internet access, and they could also configure an internet VPN over the same connection for access to the corporate network. PPPoE. PPP over Ethernet is commonly used in DSL deployments. And PPE, PPPoE can be configured on either the DSL modem or on the router. So my experience is usually configured on the modem, so you don't have to do anything special on the router. But maybe in your country, it is common to do it on the router. Okay, that's everything I needed to tell you here. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.